what's up guys? Okay, so today I'm gonna take you guys to see one of my favorite beaches here in Southern California. It is the summertime, my kids are out of school. They're super, super excited. They wanna go get in the water. So I'm actually gonna be taking them down to Laguna Beach today to this amazing private beach that I found many, many years ago. It is a public beach, but it is a smaller beach. It's a lot harder to find than some of the larger beaches like Huntington Beach or uh, Seal Beach or any of those larger beaches. But it's really cool because it's super, super private. It's usually not as busy. And uh, it's a nice place if you wanna go and relax and take it easy for the day. Okay guys, I'm gonna show you some videos. You're gonna absolutely love this. We'll see ya. Where are we at, Gavin? We're at the beach. We're at the beach? At Very cool, here we go. Woo okay guys, we are at our favorite beach here in Southern California. This is gonna be the Laguna Beach uh, here at Treasure Park, right next to the Montage Resort. One of my favorite beaches here. You guys are gonna check this out. Okay, here we are, the beautiful Pacific Coast Highway, highway number one. I like to park up this little street behind us here. It's a parking lot, pretty small parking lot, but it's never super, super busy. There were still a few spots left. Look at the view. Nope, I've been coming here for many, many years before, before you guys. Hotel Resort, the Montage Resort here in Laguna Beach. We got a nice little private pool up there. All these amazing oceanfront rooms. Uh, I think they hold weddings out here on, on one of these points. Definitely a cool vacation spot. If you wanted to come visit a really nice beach city here in California, Laguna Beach definitely one of my favorites. It's more of a uh, beach community with cliffside. They have really nice sandy beaches. They also have a downtown area. So this uh, resort, actually, this beach has a lot of stairs. So if you're going to come here, definitely keep that. They have ramps too as well. Um, as you can see, the beach down here, this is around 10.30 in the morning. And there's not that many people out here yet. Uh, but it stays pretty calm like this pretty much most of the time. That's why it's one of my favorite resorts, favorite little beaches. It is a public beach. You're only going to be paying for parking. Okay, so guys, this is absolutely amazing. It's a beautiful day. It's not busy. You can see you got the beautiful beach behind us gorgeous this way we got the cliff side now there's actually tide pools over there which are uh, an ecological preserve you can go over there and view if you are going to come with children i highly recommend um supervising them when they go over there to the rocks they are sharp and then we also want to make sure we're protecting the marine biology life that lives there because that is their home but yeah amazing amazing day here at the beach as you can see the kids are having fun Enjoying the sun. <laughs> what are you guys doing? Okay guys, in a little bit here, I will take you guys over to the tide pools so you can see some of the really cool rock formations and some of the amazing, um, maybe we'll see some starfish. I don't know what we'll see over there, but I will show you guys what it's like over there on the, uh, the tide pool rocks and you guys can check it out. Okay guys, me and Belle, we're gonna go check out the tide pools, see if we can find any starfish or any cool creatures living over in the tide pools. You ready to go check it out, Belle? Yeah. You only found two shells? Yeah, you might be 
take though, you shouldn't take anything from here though, because this is marine conservation. This is really cool. This is one of my favorite places to come and get photos. A lot of people come over here and do wedding engagement shots. Pretty cool. This is a marine protected. This beach is a marine protected area. Taking or possessing type of animals is against the law. So sometimes they have um, actual volunteers, marine biologists, volunteers out here educating. Pretty uh, cool little spot. Got some cool rock formations, good spots for photos. Just this way. We'll go through the cave here and we'll see if there's any else over here on the other side oh um, over here you can do it over here oh oh yeah. sometimes you have starfish and stuff down in these pools this way bell you can work your way along this cliffside here and get to over to another I've never been really been over there. Okay guys, so we're not seeing that much in the tide pools today. So sometimes you're gonna come here and you're gonna find a lot of little fish, little star. Uh, fish and other crustaceans, but today is not so much, uh, but it's definitely a really nice day out. So if you want to get some uh, photo, some photos or some video done, definitely a good time to be here. Uh, the beach definitely not super crowded. Love it. Okay guys, so I just talked to the marine bi biologist and she was saying it's uh, the tides obviously change. So right now the tide is a little bit higher so it's a little bit harder to see some of the pools, to see the sea life. But this evening around 4 p.m. is when it's gonna kind of go, uh, go down a little bit and more of the pools will be revealed. She was saying that they've seen starfish, sea urchin, all sorts of other um, really cool marine, biology, uh, marine life in the pools. So we might come back later at four o'clock to check see what they have there. Okay guys, so the marine biologists are out there. They had some information to give to us, so if we will come back and see if we can spot some of the uh, sea life that's in the tide pools here in Laguna Beach. They have this cool little coloring book for kids and then um, the kind of sea life that you'll see inside the tide pools, so you can try to spot some of them. Really neat. What you doing, Aria? Huh? Are you swimming? Been having fun? Yeah. Super cool. Okay guys, so if you are interested in this beach, this is the Treasure Island Park Beach here in Laguna Beach. Now the parking, there's a small parking structure along PCH, but I recommend going up into the higher parking structure, which is on the other side of the street. Um, and there's plenty of parking usually, so it's not too bad trying to find a parking spot. If you come maybe in the middle of the day, it might be a little bit harder, but if you definitely come in the morning, not too bad.
guys, so parking at the beach here is $7.50 for three hours. So that is not bad. And you can use debit, you can use credit. Uh, it doesn't take cash. There is no cash option anymore. It's gonna be a debit card.